Hello everyone, this is Cricket, and I'm here with my first Reason tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing my live rig uh, that I use in a band live um, with two keyboards, actually an Axiom 25 and an Axiom 49. The 49 sitting here in this video. This first video I'm just going to show it off and I'll explain how to do it in a later vid. But as you'll see, these are my various devices. Uh, all of my instruments for my top board are in this one called Super Horns, which is mostly horns and things like that. Reggae Rig is stocked full of a whole bunch of stuff. These are two different effects that are on the aux. As you'll see, line mixer, these two line mixers are basically bottom board and top board. This dub beeper is just a sample. I have it routed into the main board. Uh, this will all make sense. It's going to blow your mind at first, but it's going to make sense. Uh, I have everything routed to mini mixers for different subdivisions and things like that. This is actually a player that I have set up uh, for at the end of the show. I just hit the play button and it'll play me a full song. I can load up any WAV file up in there and you set the sample for like a whole song length and it, when you're done, it just plays a whole song. It's a nifty little music player that you can make in Reason 5 using any waveform. Um, got Nick going down to a little master thing. There's some uh, various effects there. Yes, this is a custom uh, sp space echo uh, skin that I have. I could give it to you if you'd like. Um, this is one I made for Kong, but um, looks cool on, on a combinator. Okay, and yeah, you've all seen the uh, classic or, you know, the awesome little spectrum analyzer there. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, so, what I'll go over first is showing you what's inside this bad boy. Let's crack her open. Now you see your jump, let's watch that jump once again, like how big it is. Kabam, bam. This is what's stuffed inside my main reggae rig. I got a clav, I got a strings, I've got these sample sets, another sample thing, samples, samples, all routed to various parts of my keyboard, be it the first couple, uh, like here. And at the other end, classic reggae kind of samples, the classic air horn, you gotta have this one. Right? Another classic one, and when you start the show, you need one of these. Massive stuff. Okay. So those are just some samples. Um, I have them sampled out up to my pads as well. But let me go through these sliders and show you what this is capable of doing, and then I'll show you the guts of it and what it's doing. First slider is an organ. Pretty nice. Second slider is like a lead kind of patch. I call it Snoop lead because it's like the hip hop kind of classic. Pretty cool. Third one is like a pad sound that I like to start the show with along with that air raid siren. Kind of just like this. Okay, so that's the pad sound. This fourth one is a clap with a mod. The mod wheel does the wah. So yeah, and I'm using the DX uh, sound driver right now because, like I said, first video and I don't have that part worked out, so I have nasty lag going on. That's a great sound. Now this next one's my piano, but the trick is, let's see, I have the bottom half something else, and they're three different things. The first one's a sine wave. Because in reggae, you got to have that, that low end. But I have three different low ends. If I turn this one on, these three turn them on and off. It's like a synthy sound, right? The third one's an organ. I'll turn this off. And these are all selectable at any time. You could even blend, let's say, organ and buzz song. Pretty cool. So that's my piano patch that I, you know, regularly use. This last next one is a clap. 
another clav, but just not doesn't have the wah on it. Very handy. My last three here are effect sliders. Let's go back to the piano. And throw some of these delays on there. Check this out. So I have selectable delay at any time. And it goes over anything. It'll it'll affect everything that's coming out of the you know the audio. The second one's another different echo. Now what's really trick is I don't know if you can see in the video. Maybe I can move my camera just a little bit. Yeah, I'll get better at doing these. So I have the uh, the delay repeat time mapped to this uh, pitch bend. So check it out when I do it. There's some grip there. Does one of those returns back to zero when I let off. I have these uh, knobs set up to control the delay times and the repeats themselves. Let me move my camera back. We're not going to mess with those right now. But this third slider is a phaser. Sounds great as, you know, really great. I have the speed mapped to one of the knobs. And at any time, we can have some delay. You also see that I, I told you I had samples mapped to the top pads. Let's get that off of there. Give it a little delay. Classic dub beep. That's a cool sound. It's a sample of Peter Tosh. Designed by Jock, who is my creator. Nice. Reggae sample. And the rewind sound. Gotta have, gotta have one of those, but everybody's favorite. Yeah, okay. I'm having fun. Um, so, yeah, um, as you'll see here, I got everything mapped out. Various uh, effects at any given time. And of course, it could even blend them. If you're so inclined, you know. Love this map some delay on it. Or the clav with some delay. It's pretty neat stuff. Let's go back to this uh, screen right here and I can show you that you just got to keep in mind in this combinator you, you just throw in all your effects or your uh, instruments you want. The next thing you're going to be needing to do is route them to mini mixers so you can control all their volumes. Remember my organ, you can even see in the video here. I'm sliding this first one. Here's my organ. Here's my snoop sound. There's that third slider. Here's the clav. Oops, here's the clav. And this one's that piano slider that has various things mapped to it. That's why you'll need a secondary little. Uh, one of these is inconsequential. I have the sign routed in double time uh, or through two of them. It's stupid. But if you see me changing these three mutes, remember my different things, this turns the fuzz on and off. This turns the sign on and off. And naturally, there's that organ. Now, you know I have it split down on this half. You do the split up in the programmer section of your combinator, which is freaking awesome. Um, that's how I also set the ranges for these samples that are at the top of my keyboard. I only want them playing in a certain certain range. That sign copy that I played, this is actually, uh, it's not being used. This is the sign you hear when I hit this button. This is, uh, that's my first organ I'm betting. Um, there's that fuzz patch. So you can set the zone of how, where they're going to be active on your keyboard. And that's crucial. A couple of these, like, uh, I know that the... The clav goes the whole range of the keyboard. Some of mine go the whole range and some of them don't. Um, you can set it up so you have different options, of course. When you turn up that one slider, it'll you know work with those. Like I said, this might seem confusing at first, but I will help you get through it. And here I'm zooming through my, through my thing here. But yeah, a lot of it comes down to these kind of routings. And then you basically route all those individuals, yeah, that's my kitty. I don't know if you saw that.